Uh, welcome to a special screencast edition of the HDTV and Home Theater podcast. Uh, what you're looking at here is my laptop desktop. And uh, well, what ha what's prompting this is we got an email from John in Tasmania, Australia. He had a question about the uh, two and a half minute skip feature that we talked about that was part of the DirecTV uh, iPad remote control application. And I had mentioned that I wanted to do the same thing on my lap, on my um, my Harmony remote control, just programming a button to put five uh, skip forward 30 seconds in a row. Uh, he had some issues with it, and I thought, you know, this would be a great tutorial. And I think a lot of our listeners have a Logitech uh, Harmony remote control, and, and this may uh, prompt you to go out and, and do a little bit more experimentation and, and customize it to make it even more useful. What you're looking at are the three activities that are on my uh, downstairs in my family room. Uh, we have a watch Apple TV, watch a Blu-ray, and watch television. The watch television is where we're gonna be focusing on. Uh, what you'll do is hit customize buttons, and that'll bring up this screen. Uh, what you have here are all the hard buttons that are available on the um, remote control. So we'll just take a look here quickly at the, at the menu button. And on my setup, we're sending the menu command to the DirecTV DVR, and we're actually telling it to select the menu. What a, um, you know, send the menu IR code for the DirecTV DVR. Uh, what a novel concept, right? But, you know, you could set it to the TV, and, uh, or you can set up a sequence, which is what we're going to be talking about here in a second. But, um, you know, and if you wanted to, not that this would make any sense, you can have the menu button send the DirecTV DVR an info command. But uh, that's just gonna be more headache than it's worth, but th that's how you customize it. And if you've got some unused buttons on your remote control that you like, oh, you know, I wish I had like the dash button. You know, some of the uh, remotes have a dash, but the Harmony doesn't have a dash. You may find a hard button on there that just not doing anything. You can set that up to be a dash. But of course, the issue with that is only you'll know that or anybody you tell for that matter. So then they have, a, th and there's a better way to do that. Harmony has the LCD screen that's got the uh, five soft keys, I'm sorry, the six soft keys that you can uh, program up to do whatever you want. And they have multiple pages of that. And so this is where I've chosen to add the skip two and a half uh, minute uh, feature. What you'll do is you'll, you'll type in in text what you want it to say. Uh, for instance, here, the number one button, if we look over here, shows up on the upper left hand side of the uh, Logitech Harmony One remote and you can see the rest of the mapping. What we're doing is we're putting the skip two and a half in the in number six button, which is the bottom right hand. And uh, I just typed in skip 2.5, but you could type in whatever you want there. And we're telling it that it's a sequence of commands. And we've chosen the, to be the skip 2.5 minute sequence. Uh, I've also defined a mute, which I'll, I'll talk about here in a second. The way you define the sequence is you come down here and you click Add Sequence. And that brings up uh, this screen. We'll concentrate on the two and a half minute one for now. And we'll talk about the mute in a second here. This is where you name the sequence, whatever you want it to be. And I've decided to choose this skip 2.5 minutes. And what we're going to do is tell it, send the direct TV DVR command skip forward. We're going to do that five times. It turns out the, uh, the Harmony remote, this particular one, will only accept five commands in a sequence. Uh, otherwise, you know, I actually wanted to do six because typically here, at least in the U.S., you get about, on primetime television, about uh, three minutes of commercials at the commercial break. And it's as simple as that. We'll go back to, uh, well, you know, before we go back to the screen, let me talk about the mute uh, function. We had a listener tell me this is what he does, and I thought it was a great idea. So it sends the mute command to the receiver, which is providing the audio for me. Then the direct TV gets a yellow button, which will bring up another menu on the screen. We direction down and then hit select, and that toggles on the uh, closed captioning. And when you hit that mute button again, it does the same set of sequences, but it toggles it off. So it's really a uh, really handy feature if you uh, want to mute something and still kind of see what's going on. So uh, we're done with that. And let's go back to the main screen here. And we'll go to the additional buttons. And so the way you select it, as I said, is you just select uh, skip 2.5 or any other sequence you've decided to, uh, to implement. So it's a really straightforward way. 
the only thing you got to do is just kind of make sure that you leave the remote control generally aimed at the television for you know a, a little bit maybe uh, half a second to a second so those five commands can be uh, sent out to the DVR um, really I really like this feature I know it seems like uh, geez uh, how, how much lazier can you get than hit have to hit the button five or six times but um, once you do it I think if you've got a DVR you know what I'm talking about so uh, that is the demonstration hopefully you found it useful and we'll use it to uh, experiment and do a lot more stuff if, if you come up with another cool set of sequence of commands or other ways to use your harmony please share with us and we'll pass that information on to uh, other listeners or, or you know what you can just post it um, on the site uh, at uh, for each po each posting that we put up there there's an area where listeners can comment uh, we love feedback you can send it to us at hdtvpodcast at mac.com. Uh, you can support the show in a number of ways. Uh, one of them is the uh, store that we have. And you can get there by going to hdtvpodcast. I'm sorry, htguys slash shop. Uh, htguys.com slash shop. Uh, boy, you guys will never get there if I have my way about it, huh? So htguys.com slash shop. Uh, you can buy us coffee on the website. Uh, that's a metaphor we use. Uh, it's uh, essentially a donation, and that helps us with the show. Uh, you can uh, download the um, the iPad app, or I'm sorry, the iPhone app, and that is uh, iAd sponsored. So if you click on those sponsors, that helps us out. And of course, we do have sponsors. Um, at uh, their logos are at the top of the page. If you go to them through those uh, links, that we get a little bit of a, like a commission as well. So thank you for watching and uh, have fun with your Harmony Remote.